friends. friends. We're back with another vlog this week. So on Monday, Daryl did my nails, which was so sweet. He's actually pretty good at doing them because growing up, he actually used to help his mom paint her nails. So cute, I know. Anyways, I've been wanting to learn how to do gel nails at home. And so I recently bought all of the things that I would need. And so far, I think we've been doing a pretty good job. I think I just need to get better at shaping. I highly recommend checking out gel care if you are looking to do gel nails at home. So on Tuesday, I stepped out to get some groceries as we were running low on food. We had a bit in line since stores have decreased their capacity and thankfully it wasn't too cold. Grabbed some essentials like Milo and some chocolate. Just kidding, there were some veggies in the car too. Headed back home and made tuna salad for lunch. Then, Jen's siblings and I surprised her with another plant to celebrate some good news, and that was our Tuesday. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So today we're finally gonna try Vegemite. And to help us uh, prepare Vegemite properly, we have our Aussie friend, Justin, who gave us the, the Vegemite. Toast your bread. Toast our bread, okay. I mean, you can put more if you want. Yeah. I like evenly spread. Or maybe we... Yes, evenly spread butter. I would just put a quarter of that portion thing. A quarter. One slice of bread. For now. Ooh. Okay. Like this? Yeah, and then you have to like smear it on, okay? Like really thin. Yeah, really thin as well. Really thin. It makes it look like burnt toast. Okay, do you put it on half? More. You need more than that. Nah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Okay. Just a little bit. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, y'all, so we're about to try Vegemite for the very first time. As you just saw, Justin did a quick tutorial with us um, over FaceTime, <laughs> and we're gonna try it now. I'm really, All like, right. Here worried. we go. I hope I like it. All right, cheers. Okay, cheers. Okay, Justin, cheers, and thank you again. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Vegemite for the first time. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> I can't. I love the silence. I can't figure out what it tastes like. High cholesterol and salt. <laughs> yeah, it's just salty, like. But. But thoughts. I don't hate it. No. Yeah. It's not bad. Interesting. You know what I thought it was gonna taste like, and I don't really like it. Liver. What? Oh, like pate. Yeah. yeah, but no. Yeah. What would you give it a rating out of ten? Whoa. For me, I would say a six. A six out of ten. Yeah, like it's not the worst thing. It's not bad. I would. I'll finish like, this. But also, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have it every day. buy it. You know what it tastes like? Now that I've taken a bigger bite, it tastes like a really like stinky cheese. Fun fact: people mm. eat that with cheese. Oh. Mmm. That'd be too much. But yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not bad. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. I don't hate it. But it is very salty. It's like super salty. Yeah. Like you could have gone even thinner. Yeah. Comment down below if you've tried a Vegemite and whether you like it or not. We'd love to hear yeah. your and thoughts. We want to know like your different combinations if you ever eat it with something else. Yes, yeah, tell like, us. Yeah, we have a whole like bag <laughs> of Vegemite. <laughs> like, <laughs> We've seen online people eat it with avocado, peanut butter. What else, Justin, have you heard? Eggs? Eggs. 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 Yeah, make it, it salt. Oh, like, it is really salty. It keeps getting like stuck bit behind my teeth. Mm -hmm. Not, no. But aside from that, it's not bad. Like with the bread, it's good. Um, but yeah, next up, we're now gonna try Australian Milo. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So now we're gonna try Australian Milo. And we're gonna be trying it with our favorite oat milk. All right, so this is um, the Australian Milo. Go for it. There we go. Oh, there you go. Mm. So Justin, can you let us know which Milo you picked up for us? Extra chocolatey. <laughs> Whatever that means. 
So this already has an advantage because like the, we just I have know. the regular like the regular layman's. I'm just kidding. Oh wow! Wow, look at the difference. Look at this. Oh wow! Yeah. One. Let's go with that. Oh, this is extra chocolatey though. So like. Maybe two. Two. I think two is good. Two. 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 Two each. Yeah. Two. One. This one is definitely a three. No, this one is a two as well. So, we're back. We're going to be taste testing Australian Milo versus... And I, didn't even, I don't even think we introduced Swiss, Swiss Milo. Swiss so Milo, I don't know. From Switzerland, it says. Yeah. And then Australian Milo. Yeah. Right off the bat, the um, Australian Milo is a lot darker and like deeper in color. Um, and there's like more chunks at the top versus yeah. the Swiss Milo that we've been yeah. drinking and making cookies with. As Daryl was making it, I kind of got like a wave of nostalgia because I actually remember Milo being this like color, like a lot deeper and darker in color yeah. and like chunkier, if that makes sense. So. And even the container, like I remember it being like, I know you have to like use the back of your spoon to like be like, oh, oh, like yeah. I'm going to open it. All um, right? so who wants to start? You, you go first. Okay. Whoa, I can definitely taste the difference. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go, go, go ahead, one more. You'll, you'll 100%, you can tell. Okay, let's see. I'm a Milo connoisseur, so. And I'll tell you my differences. Mmm. Okay. This is like, Yes. The Milo 100%. that you rem remember as a kid. Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay, so I will say it's. Well, okay, you know what? No. It's definitely like. No, I think we should try this first. Okay. Try yeah, this first. Try ahead. this first. Okay. Sorry. Getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to say is this, like, the Australian Milo is not as sweet. Yes. But it's like chunkier, like I said, in texture. I think the Swiss Milo is definitely made for like a Western palate. It's way sweeter. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Now that I even think about it, it kind of tastes like Nesquik. It's like it's really similar to like Nesquik mm, versus this one. Yeah. I'm gonna take another sip. Like this has like I don't know how to explain it. Like 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 a dark chocolate. Like yeah. If you're eating dark chocolate versus milk chocolate, it's like that. But then you get like the sweet bit, so then it makes it like still sweet. If that makes sense. Like the chunks are really sweet. Yeah, it's like a richer, richer chocolate flavor. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I would still drink both, but I yeah. think this just made me really nostalgic. And this is definitely the Milo I drank as a kid. Anyways, that wraps up our little taste test. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And Australian Milo is better. Australian Milo is definitely better. And thank you, Justin. Yes. Shout out. So on Thursday, we woke up to another snowy day. Then in the evening, we finally got to use our always pan for the first time. We had some leftover pumpkin noodles, so I just whipped up a quick shrimp dish. So on Friday, we woke up to some sun, which was really nice for a change. And then in the evening, I ran a couple of errands. first stop was shoppers to pick up a couple of things and then I walked over to H Mart to grab some more groceries that Dee wasn't able to get at the beginning of the week. So on Saturday we were supposed to watch a movie with our friends Mia and Kenji who actually live in Japan but we just ended up catching up instead. So we've rescheduled our movie date in two weeks. So that's our vlog for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to like and comment if you enjoyed it. And if you love our content, feel free to subscribe and share. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye friends. friends.